Happy Aquarius Day. Today is my final reading for Aquarius. It is the love reading. Uh, prior to this, I did the full for forecast for the autumn months. And then I did a particular September forecast. I've time traveled into September. But I'm actually sitting in June. And watching the energies unfold. Because I had a good idea of what was coming this year. And it has been a an incredible trip uh, for me, journey for me, to watch how people are reacting to the changes on the earth. And it's it quite amazes me. So do check out um, your fall forecast and your September overview. Each reading has an attached astrology page. Different for each reading. So you might want to check those two to connect more of the dots of your overview of your journey. So let us begin. Cards have been pre-shuffled to save time. The overall energy ahead of your reading will affect all the cards that are laid out. Is that two of swords, <coughs> queen of pentacles. We have the five of wands, the shadow, page of wands, seven of cups, at the heart of your reading, we have the Hermit and the Six of Swords, King of Swords. So there's going to be a blip in the autumn months for you. But here in September, where it comes to love, my first thought was to tell you that, <clears throat> you know, this conflict within self here has everything to do with this decision. Uh, in the prior reads to this, there was a decision that was already made and the law of attraction was, was coming in. Those energies were coming in. So it may be there's a flow beginning here, Aquarius. You sending out the energies of your desires, your dreams, your wishes, your hopes. And maybe it's a sense of a continuation or a constant doing of that. It's almost like a feeling, Aquarius, like I'm sure one of these times I'll get it right and it'll manifest into something that I have desired and wished for for a long time. Okay, let's get off of that plateau because that may not necessarily be your energies, but it may be an overall factor. It's being bookended by the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. Again, this is about a decision that was already made. This showed up in your past readings, the the September and the, and the overview of the autumn. This may be, you know, you're sitting here, you're taking a break and someone comes in and says, quick, we have to, you know, there's, there's this revelation. While you're sitting in this place of rest, this conflict comes in. Maybe while sitting in this place of rest, you're doing your shadow work, looking at situations, inner conflict, a decision coming up that needs to be made. And did I make the right decision here? This is going to cause some confusion. So, yeah, this is retreat. There's definitely a retreat here. To move to calmer waters. Maybe that shadow side is about uh, that codependent behavior. This is how I get my own way. Not necessarily you, but maybe, you know, this other person. This is how I get my own way. And how do you break that? There is this conflict, inner, outer conflict, where you are needing to come to terms with yourself. What it is you can You know that saying, how can you live with yourself in order for you to be able to live with yourself? And this is what I'm seeing with many of the signs. I predicted a long time that starting in June, we were going to go into a peak, into the peak of the big ugly on the global scale, which affects us all individually. And the amazing part is humanity stepping up to the plate, how you are dealing with these energies amazes me. So we're going to see how you 
are getting help in dealing with these energies. These two cards. It's, it's almost like a rest easy. In spite of the conflict, it's okay to be doing that shadow work. It's always good because we should not run away from negativity. But look it straight in the face. Reason. Reason. Uh, this is about choosing wisely and the position you're in now. This message coming in is, is only going to be disruptive, a bit confusing. But there seems to be this energy of this is Earth Mother. Like, I've got you. Cocooned in the womb of the Earth. This is about wise choices. And this is a colder energy. This is non-emotional. This is just like speaking the truth. This is strong Aquarian energy. I want the truth. He's also ready for action, isn't he? Whoops. Queen of Swords. Look at this. So in the month of September for love, you may be taking a step back from lovership into friendship. And saying we need to develop this relationship to be more like friends. Um, now, we don't always have to be on the same level. We don't always have to agree. But in September, there's a lot of agreement here. Both of you having the same desired, wanting the same desired outcome. Three of Pentacles, planning, collaboration. Nine of Pentacles, independence. Four of Swords. Now, Aquarius needs their, that's healing. Aquarius needs their independence. Or they don't function like a proper Aquarian. At the same time, you need that connection. We all need that connection. So there's collaboration here. There's a plan being worked out between you and your love. Even if you haven't met this person yet. Have a look at these energies that swir is, are swirling towards you. You're communicating with that person. That law of attraction is in motion. Well, I don't see the wheel of fortune, so maybe it isn't in event mode. Maybe you're still in the planning stages. This looks like a new plan coming up, though. There's a new plan. There's going to be a, a change of plans. So maybe that's what this is all about. Um, being apart from your lover by wise choice rather than confusion. You have a choice here. We have two queens. One in each corner. You have a choice. Is it going to be confusing? Or are you going to commit to uh, a decision? A decision. So this left brain logical thinking. To move through the conflict. Facing that shadow side within yourself. Things that you are afraid of. Analyzing your dreams. meditating to stay above this energy and this is what it does for you what you do independently should be your focus how can I make the world a better place my environment a better place good communications here this is very healing this communication There she is. There she blows, Aquarius. The Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of the Year. It is in event mode. So, September, love, you are going to be making a, a decision. A difficult one. But maybe it's being made for you. Maybe it's that law of attraction coming in while you're sending out another one. Vibes are coming in while you're sending vibes out to the universe. Six of Wands. This is victory, freedom. Marriage. It's people looking up to you. Perhaps you're dealing with a Capricorn. And people are looking up to your Capricorn mate. This is about setting a very good example for others to follow. The, I think that this energy right here is very important to this reading. 
Aquarius. Being a role model. Following your heart. And others will follow your lead here. The best part about the lead is when you're just following yourself. You know what I mean? Following your own path. Look at that partnership. Told you. They're all going to get it. So this is about love. Your partner's going to get it. If you haven't met your partner yet, they're receiving the message. So it's straightening out the conflict within them. This is straightening out the conflict within you. And this is the energies of you joining together in partnership. Unity. Yes, I know what some of you are thinking. That could mean the conflict is to break up the partnership, but I, I don't feel that. Because of these cards and this card. So let's have a look at the shadows. That's the devil card. Yeah, that's a devil. That's a devil you've been fighting with for months, Aquarius. Worry. Stress. Worry. Overthinking. You want to do the proper thinking, sure, and be logical, sure. But this is overthinking, definitely. That's your enemy right there. The one that confuses, you're overthinking. This energy in itself hurts you. So what's this overthinking about? Someone comes in with a message or gossip or your partner does something that makes you feel betrayed. Or may maybe this is someone just telling you your partner betrayed you and you can't take secondhand news. You want it from the horse's mouth. With all those energies set aside and possibilities, the probability here is that there is a message that is going to open up this conflict. It is an opportunity for you to walk away from suffering. You know, no pain, no gain. There doesn't have to be suffering. There is a way shown right here. It may be tough or painful. But this energy only brings this energy. Two of Cups. Confusion over your soulmate. So you're going to be facing something with your soulmate. This is part of the, the challenge. Part of the growth. Retreating to mourn. Mourn. So maybe it was that, guys. I'm not going to set it in stone yet, but maybe for some of you, you are mourning the loss of a partner that you once had a lot of happiness and victory with. Independence. Are you putting on a good front? No. No. This is doing that shadow work. Facing the fears. As painful and scary as those fears are. There's the opportunity to face them. Choosing wisely. That's why the victory is here. That's why the Queen of Pentacles is here. This is about choosing wisely. Perhaps that's your fear. Are you choosing wisely? Do you have all the facts? Do you see a way forward? It's coming. It's coming in to show you. Perhaps this hermit mode is just to be This is getting difficult for me, Aquarius. Energies are a little muckled, mu mu just a little 
crazy. The tower. So this is a truth that's going to hurt. Do you get bad news? We're in the big ugly. This could be that like you're pulling up stakes. Doing the practical thing, the logical thing, pulling up stakes, changing places of residence, changing jobs, being more independent where it's not so much drama. And yeah, I really love that job or I really love that house. But, you know, thank you for the memories. You're navigating here. You're in event mode. Isn't that nice? The king in this corner and the queen in this corner. Both of pentacles. So September is going to be not so much about the emotional. Not so much about the uh, mushy, mushy, romantic thing. It is going to be more about balancing a way forward. What is the plan? There's an offer coming in. And you're open to those offers, Aquarius, definitely. Good communication. There is a there is a good solid offer coming in with a soulmate. One that, if chosen, is a wise, wise choice. It looks like you're going, this is what you're going to choose. That's the energy. Collaboration. Yeah, this feels like, okay, saying, okay, that plan didn't work out. Let's take a step back. And then move forward in a more less dramatic or let's just step out of the way of all that chaos and wait for the dust to settle because we need to get to work on a plan how we can make this work how this we can make this happen whatever that plan is you know is it about residence is it about jobs is it about um distance between you but there's planning and collaboration here independence you're tying up loose ends that's what you're doing so this does feel like a sense of uh at least a spiritual or psychic separation from your partner in order to deal with some inner work but i don't see animosity here This is someone supportive, a soulmate of yours, who is supporting. Who's going to look at it just as practically as you are. You're working together. Yeah, someone returns from the past. And here is your opportunity to heal those energies. Perhaps a repeat of the past, remembering the pain of it. The fear of going through that again here we have the healing of it that's the card of healing isn't that something now this looks like pretty deep work for you Aquarius not that you're afraid of deep work um, but I mean the world is changing I don't know what it's gonna be like on the global level in September maybe we'll have a uh, full disclosure and aliens you know they have their crazy alien invasion who knows you're doing some pretty deep work as all of humanity seems to be doing so this deception is really just whatever that deceptive past was those are the the loose ends you're going to be tying up facing dealing with and you know moving forward on a more peaceful less dramatic theatrical there's this is solid energy an offer of stability a spiritual something or other taking place here a healing because look pain tower healing like wow aquarius Wow. Nine 
nine. This is about achieving. You're going to achieve this, tying this energy up. Are you now transcending? Because that's what it looks like. I should mention this on my next afternoon delight reading for everyone to hear, but I'm thinking about it with you, Aquarius, and if I say it out loud, I'll, then I can remember. The, the void of moon dates. This is where energy is most powerful in a human being. This is not hokey pokey stuff. This is not wishful thinking stuff. This is scientific. There is a void of moon for about 48 hours every month in your sign and I do a chart over at the journey home the main page you can look up the void of moons dates for the month those are the days Aquarius that if you are at least aware that well there's hijacking energy out there this is this is where the devil gets his dues so no activity during that 48 hours if you are at least conscious of your activity remaining in the now in the present watch your words when you speak to other people in that 48 hours to be kind that is an exercise you know some it comes easy for some of us but it is an exercise at some times and during the void of moon if that should happen to you then if you're at least aware of it you will choose your words carefully also to sex if you if you have sex during the void of moon uh, your energy is being stolen so if you just avoid sex during those that 48 hours or overeating good time to fast you know fast for half a day to help keep you in that awareness to utilize that energy it is not stolen and therefore your energies at new moon and full moon are much 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 more powerful they've done scientific um, studies on this that fast that would fascinate you so look up your void of moon for each month Take those 48 hours. Do the hermit thing here. More in the past. But don't engage in uh, any selfish activity. That is in event mode in September here. So it's climbing back up into your, you know, the kundalini energy. It goes up and down all through the month but when you have power over your own spirit your own body your own consciousness in event mode maybe pay attention to where the void of moon is for you in the month of september i see nothing but growth here but that void of moon will help i think through this major change I hope that resonated for you, Aquarius. I hope I didn't blather on too long. Um, but do check out the astrology that's linked to this. Every reading has its own astrology page to help you connect the dots for your personal life. These are scenarios, how they manifest in each of your Aquarian lives. Who knows? Maybe it's just a one-day event. But these are energies you can utilize in your own spiritual growth. To my subscribers, God bless you. And to those who haven't, please do. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.